Welcome to our English class. Teacher, Miss Romaina, Miss Hidalgo. Let's listen the vocabulary. A toothache. A stomach ache. A headache. A temperature. A cold. A cough. Take medicine. Go to see a dentist. How are you today? Okay. What was the matter? Is the topic today. Vamos a hacer cada oración en tiempo pasado con el vocabulario que ya hemos visto en la clase pasada. Entonces, nuestra primera oración sería I had a cough. I had a temperature. I had a sore throat. I had a stomachache. I had a knee ache. I had a headache. I had a toothache. I was ill. I had a night test. I took some medicine. I saw a doctor. I had a dream. He mencionado en las oraciones en tiempo pasado. Para recordar, vamos a grammar. Verse in present, verse in past. Number one, to be. Is, are, el verbo ser o estar. Es, está o están. Se convierte a was, aware, estaba o estaban. En negativo, wasn't or weren't. No estaba o no estaban. Eso se coloca depende de cada pronombre personal. Si está en primera persona o está en tercera persona. To, have, tener. Hat, tenía, tuvo. Drink, beber. Drunk, bebió. See, ver. So, vio. Give, dar. Gave, dio. Take, tomar. Took. Tomó. Go. Ir. Went. Se fue. Fue o fui. Eat. Comer. Ate. Comió. Comí. Do. Hacer. Did. Hizo. Vamos a escuchar un diálogo en donde te van a entender el tiempo en pasado. Los verbos en tiempo pasado. Listen, please. You weren't at school last week, Simon. Where were you? I was at home because I wasn't well. What was the matter? I was ill. Last Monday, I had a temperature. It was 39 degrees. Wow. What was the matter? I don't know. I drank lots of water. But on Tuesday, I was worse. And I had a bad headache, too. Were you better on Wednesday? No, I wasn't. I had a terrible cough, so I saw the doctor. He gave me some medicine. Were you better after you took the medicine? No, I wasn't. On Thursday, I went to the hospital with Mum and had some tests. So, what was the matter? <coughs> Uh, I had a cold. Oh, but I wasn't ill on Friday afternoon. I was fine. I ate a big dinner. Oh, <laughs> and then I had a really good weekend. <laughs> okay. Activity four. 
esta actividad es en el libro. Van a agarrar su librito y van a trabajar esa página. Read and say the letter. Van a leer y van a decir qué letra le corresponde a cada uno de cada oración. Number one. He took some medicine because he had a cold. Obviamente decimos es un ejemplo de uno. Number one. With D. Letter D. Two. We ate a lot because we were hungry. Three. She went to bed early because she was sick. Four. I drank a lot because I had a temperature. Five. The doctor gave her some medicine because she had a stomachache. Six. They saw the dentist because they had a toothache. Activity five. Look and answer. Say, Tom, su ordinars. Decir, si está hablando Tom, su o la enfermero. Enfermero en este caso. Number one. Who saw the nurse? Tom, that's right. Number two. Who went to the hospital to see Tom? Three. Who had a headache? Four, who gave Tom some medicine? Five, who ate lunch in bed? Six, who had a night test? Seven, who drank orange juice? Eight, who took some medicine? Traten de resolverlo por favor al costado de cada pregunta. Respondan el nombre que le corresponde. Tom, Sue, o the nurse. Actividad de la ficha. Activity number one. Activity number one. Listen and complete. One. He had a cold yesterday. Two. She had a headache last night. Three. He had a temperature yesterday four she had a cough last night five he had a toothache last night six they had headaches last night seven she had an eye test yesterday Thank you so much.